Hu Shen Shen and Li Shen Shen hospitals. In January, Wuhan, China emerged as world's first coronavirus hotspot, with cases and deaths quickly climbing. The local government assembled an all-star team of designers and builders for a monumental task to build a temporary hospitals in just 10 and 13 days respectively. On January 23rd, two days before the start of the lunar year, Wuhan officials announced a citywide lockdown. By afternoon, the phone was ringing at CITIC General Institute of Architectural Design Research and China State Construction Third Bureau Engineering. Under the leadership of headquarters, a design team of more than 60 people was assembled for hospital project in about one hour. Within 30 minutes, the designers were already on their way to the site for the field survey. They all were eager to take part in the project and contribute to the fight against the pandemic. A project so large would typically take six months to design and up to three more years to build. But there was a race against time as people's lives were at stake. Companies submitted a ground leveling scheme in 5 hours, finalized a design plan in 24 hours and delivered construction drawings in 60 hours. Company attributes its speed largely to its methodology. It used a relay approach to design with personnel working in two shifts for continuous design process. Construction was done co-currently. Team was pushed forward various procedures in parallel or in even reverse order. Authorities says basically we were doing designing construction scheme modification and adjustment all at the same time. It was almost a BIM Level 3 project. Management and technology also was key. Upon receiving the project, the project coordinator issued a company-wide call for assistance via WeChat. Using BIM building information modeling including Revit and Navisworks for digital modeling as well as Enscape for model rendering. Civil 3D for field leveling and site planning and Simulia X Flow for simulation allowed the team to visualize design, integrate specialities and share data in real time, all of which accelerated the workflow. BIM also facilitated rapid construction of a testing lab to provide screening and diagnosis support to Wuhan and its surrounding communities. The project team decided to use BIM and associated technologies for virtual design and construction. With the help of BIM, the design intention of the new lab was fully expressed and the integration of electromechanical pipelines was deepened. The model assisted the technical personnel as they communicated with designers and the owners, avoiding collisions and rework of the electromechanical pipeline and saved as much construction time as possible. And finally everything was done as planned.